Hey Lucy, it's Tuesday and today I am talking about the Doctor Who Series 7 mid-series finale episode, The Angels Take Manhattan. That was a mouthful. So let's talk about the episode. I'm going to start off by saying that I really don't know what to say about the episode. There's just so much that happened in the episode that it's so hard to talk about. The one thing that I want to do in this video is to not talk about the ending of the episode. Not because I don't want to talk about it or that I'm in denial even though that I am, but I feel like so many people are probably focusing on the end of the episode because of what happened that I want to try to focus on everything else. But I will say, obviously, because I can't not mention my feelings on the ending, it was really sad. I did not expect it at all, and I was nearly in tears. Although I didn't cry, I was in such a state of shock that I couldn't talk coherently for like 10 minutes, which probably sounds like I am kidding, but I'm not. I watched the episode, which TV's over there, <laughs> that's why I went like that, watched the episode, came back to my desk, sat down, and I just stared at the wall, and then my roommate st tried to start talking to me, and I just looked at her and I was like, I'm sorry, but I cannot comprehend anything you're saying right now because I am too emotional. And then I tried to explain to someone that doesn't watch Doctor Who what had happened in the episode and it was, it was really intense, it was really sad. I liked it in the essence that it was a very good scene. It was very emotional, it was very well written, well acted, and all of that stuff. But like I said, I don't want to spend the entire time talking about the ending, so that is how I felt about the ending. If you would like to talk more about the ending with me, um, we can do that in the comments. So yes, that is all I'm going to say about the ending. Now I'm going to try and discuss everything else. So number one, the angels. I love the weeping angels because in my personal opinion, they are one of the creepiest Doctor Who creatures uh, that there are. Probably right up there with the silence for me, which in my mind they're so creepy because of how they work. So both of those creatures have a very strong uh, perceptual sort of aspect to them that while looking at them it's very important. The silence you only know that they're there while looking at them. The angels they can only not hurt you while you're looking at them so they both have that very interactive sort of thing about them that just kind of scares the crap out of me. All of the episodes that have had the Weeping Angels have been such great episodes, so I was really excited. And then, as was pointed out to me, I hadn't even realized it, it was in a little insider Doctor Who thing, that the first episode that River appeared on with Eleven and Amy was the Weeping Angels episode. So it was very uh, circle of life-ish sort of thing going on, which was very awesome, uh, very poetic, so I really liked that. And of course, River Song, I was really happy that she was back because she hasn't shown up for a while, and I do like her character. I know some people really hate her and the Doctor together, which are mostly people that are still hanging on to Rose, but hey, Rose was number 10's girl, so get over it. Well, 9 and 10, but mostly 10. They got very cheeky and intimate 
with 10, whereas with 9, they were just kind of, like, really close friends. But then when he got hotter and turned into 10, she was all over that. I'm really sorry, guys, but I think I'm going to have to wrap this video up because I can't stop laughing at myself. I really liked the episode. It was really good. I really liked the storyline and all of the acting, and it was just a really, really great episode. It was a really strong episode for Amy and Rory to go out on, and... I don't know how I feel about new companions coming onto the show because when I started watching Doctor Who, it was right when Matt came on as the Doctor, so I've never had to go through the painful process of him getting a new companion while it was actually new to me. I mean, obviously I watched the, the old episodes when I started watching. But this is the first time that I've ever been uh, up to date on the show while it was happening. So this is going to be a new experience for me. And I am a little unsure of how to feel about it. Overall, so far, I think this series has been pretty good. But I'm hoping that the second half of the series is even better. I feel like the these first five episodes have been very uh, developmental for the whole Rory and Amy. I feel like the whole five episodes were leading up to them leaving, so I'm excited for it to progress and move past Amy and Rory because they have been the Doctor's companions for so long now that... I think it is time to bring on new companions, even though I love Amy and Rory. Um, they've definitely been on longer than any other companions, so it is time to switch it up. Still not happy about it, but I'm definitely excited for him to get a new companion and um, see the rest of the series, which who knows when that's going to be because the next episode isn't until the Christmas special. So, that's really depressing. Nerdate. This week I'm going to make this quick and just say that last Sunday there was a new show that started that I watched the pilot. I haven't watched episode 2 yet, but I really like the pilot. And it's called 666 Park Avenue. And it seems like it has the potential of being very good. And it's got the sci-fi aspect to it that seems very interesting. It's kind of got the sort of demonic uh, sort of side to it in the sense that it seems the show centers around demonic dealings of like, uh, you know, making a deal with a demon to get something you want in exchange for your soul. I would say to just watch the pilot episode because the trailer doesn't really explain the show very well of what it's actually about. I think it's going to be good. I'm excited about it. It seems like it's going to be pretty awesome.